Um, isn't this interesting? Oh, evidently, there's something going on. Oh boy, it's me! And I'm in a dream! So, I wanted to talk today about my college experience so far. I just finally got done today with all my finals for freshman year. Um, well, I guess by hours I'm a sophomore, but I'm a freshman by year. And I'm still going to be here like four more years because there's a five-year master's program for what I'm doing. But the interesting thing for me right now is that I'm doing like ROTC and stuff because I was hoping it would help me pay for any of this but it's kind of it takes a while to get to that part so at the point where I can pay for enough college to get there I'll be making enough already anyways to just pay for the rest of it and I mean at that point I'm not so married to the idea of military that I would give my however long for it. And I actually do have some kind of previous engagement that I kind of would rather involve myself in than eight years in the military or however long in the military. And I mean I like the idea of the military. Um, at least on the basis of doing interesting things and the uh, the uh, god just the, ma the number of things they need to do um, but I don't know much about the military experience so I guess I could ask my brother about that but it's uh, I don't know uh, I get they're not going to just throw money at every single person that decides to enter the program Maybe sooner rather than later, but uh, I'd rather just be able to pay for college <laughs> and maybe have less that I have to do. But uh, it's it's doing it's doing good things for me right now. I I've just you know been kind of wondering how much I should consider. But right now, I'm honestly just between two main options anyways, and I'm not sure if one of them is the best of options. Um, God. Now they're gone. And now you are here. What? A tear? A tear? Um, what? Dragging in places and echoes of God. They are asking me about God. Wacky. I'm going to tell you something. You're swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible. And I'm showing you now. I don't know how much I want to see these things. Thanks, pal. You really helped me there. Sheesh. <laughs> They're seeing you, and you're coming again. After this, you're not returning. I am climbing into the air. <laughs> Maybe this would make even less sense if I was actually paying attention instead of talking about the stuff I'm doing. I'm, I have an internship during the summer, and I'm hoping that'll cover a lot of my living expenses for next year. I'm still going to have to work, but it'll more be about... Um, However long then God, I haven't worked out my expenses yet. <sighs> Your atoms are not caring if you exist. Monstrous existence. <laughs> Where is this going? You're not chosen, there's no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. Because I care. 
This is all very odd cosmic existentialism. Hum. Wacky. Did I keep my... I did. I did keep my computer plugged in on accident. Well, how about that? But, yeah. Basically, right now, I'm hoping... I think I've talked on the channel before about how my current ex... Well, it doesn't exactly narrow it down. My ex... Um, wants to settle down relatively soon and that was kind of the main contention in our relationship because I can't really do that if I'm doing military um, but if I can pay for college other than military that becomes more a much more attractive way of doing it I'm not sure how to feel about it because for one I don't know if that is the only thing for one I don't know or if that's the kind of thing that I really want to be about so far out because that is relatively far out <laughs> is that why you came home <laughs> are you well I know you've been there It's me, a miracle baby. Oh, jeez. That's... That's nice. You're pregnant. I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. <laughs> Just want you know. <laughs> <laughs> they have nothing else to talk about. If you did, <laughs> give me my grandbabies already. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's what I really want more than anything. I want, I want to freaking, I want to freaking give my mom a grandbaby. You know? That's my problem. I, I honestly, I think I am more eager for some kind of family life than I ought to be at where I am because I couldn't sustain a family life. And I likely won't be able to sustain a family life if I don't make some kind of sacrifice in terms of time to actually get into a position where I can. Now, I'm not... I mean, I guess this is all Celeste stuff. And nobody watches my Celeste play, but... Yeah, let's go talk to B. Why not? My whole problem is that I really want to do things now opposed to later, I guess. Um, I'm a relatively impatient person. What was I talking about? And I can never remember anything now. Hey, V, how you doing? Yeah? <laughs> it's nothing, just stuff. No, oh uh, well. I am, uh, whatever you want to do. Let's go do something, B. My, my, my fella? My good friend B? What kind of party is it? We're going to a party? You're telling me we're not gonna be, like, uh, investigating anything? Uh, yeah, she hates me. That was years ago. <laughs> Transworld will already get my hell. Twogth. <laughs> That's... That's interesting. Say twog. Twog. That is that is an interesting name, I must say. But uh, it's you. Hopefully, it's not entirely in my own because. <laughs> oh, good, nice. Now a ninety-minute drive, dear God. <laughs> Jackie parties, huh? I think, I think I went there once in Girl Scouts. Oh, boy. <laughs> what? Why'd you start talking to me? Uh, 
I'm really hoping that none of this is too quick for normal people to read. I am far from normal. This is definitely always very fun. She was valedictorian. She <laughs> Um. E Alrighty then. Well, you know, whatever. Nothing to be too scared of. It's just a party. Well, let me think. Yeah. You brought me. Yeah. Sure, it'll be fun. Come on, it's a good one. So, like, dancing? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Well, hey, why not? Oh, uh, boy. But, it's... I would hope... I think I'm kind of subconsciously putting myself in a situation where there isn't a lose. And there's probably a lose, you know? Where, um, if I decide to go military, I don't lose because there's some good aspects to that. But if I don't go military, I'm kind of in an ambiguous situation where I'm not sure what I do after college. But if my girlfriend does want to get back with me because I can give her a more stable life and military lifestyle, then I at least have that. And I really do love this girl. Um, but at the same time, it's been like a year, so I don't, I don't know. Or at least a semester. A lot can happen. And a lot can happen in the next four or five years. You know? uh, carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this. Mace fascists. Yep. Where are these guys? Suburban Bright Harbor. We're born Bright Harbor rats. Um, huh. We're gonna get uh, yell at the DJ real quick. <laughs> Wacky. Well, uh, yeah. How nice. <laughs> no drinking. <laughs> okay, fine, B. I see how it is. Dancing, and, dancing is easy. Just make yourself look like a fool. See look exactly like they're doing, you know? And then you jump up and down a little bit in a circle. That's exactly how it works. See? Look at me dance. I am not doing that again. Look at me and me dance, yeah? This is it, huh? This is the life. Yeah. Maybe if I was having a more interesting college experience, I wouldn't be worried about some of this stuff. But, uh, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm not really the type of person that gets into really interesting situations. Until I get into, like, too interesting in a situation. All right, let's keep on dancing. Heck yeah. But, uh... Yeah. I gotta get out more. <laughs> I think is really all it comes down to. I really have to get out. Because as it is right now, I'm stuck between where I was and what I might end. Always drop out. These dreams, and I'm not sure they were dreams. Just running around, jumping bits of history or something. <laughs> Pretty sure it's kidnapped something. Um, this thing going on in my head, dropped out of college. Don't even want to get into that. But I want to a moment, things to be normal, but it's not. 
Yeah. I never just let it all out at one time. Stole your life story. Uh. Alright. Why? Why though? Secret handshake. <laughs> nice. The good old secret three digit handshake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, nice. I gotta stop. Why is it focus is not on that which is lost, but on what that remains? Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, that is, uh... Hell, I might keep that in mind. I gotta... get my crap in order. I don't know if there's too much out of order. But... Hey, B! Hey, Chris, how you doing? Yeah? Ah, uh, yeah, she, uh, she's okay. <laughs> Be interesting. It's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Um, I used to be a big reader, and then I got bored. Before he got to mention Donner. <laughs> the great, great job. Oh, jeez. May, stop. I'm sure everyone knows here knows someone who died. Dog died when my house exploded because of a gas leak. And my oh, jeez. Oh boy, <laughs> that is extremely unfortunate. <laughs> there are a lot of jobs? Not at all. <laughs> uh, I don't know much about jobs, so you can see how little I know about jobs in my own field. Go rich good over here. I'm gonna make a couple zillions of dollars to go to college. Something interesting. I inherited that uh, intern at my uncle's farm. Do you wanna dance some more? I'm sure, yeah. You should go dance. I know a bit about running a small business. Ooh. Speak their language. B doesn't like Sprover, she needs to check. Oh, come on. B knows all about business. Let me tell you. I'm uh, super on top of things. Very responsible. Even his boss is friends. Well, Richard over here is studying politicians and whatever B is out in the real world. I like you. College kids. Haha, <laughs> B, shut the heck up. I mean, May, shut the heck up. Dear God. He said there's like a ghost or something. Hey, you got a problem with that? Drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No. Hey, Rick, B drove here from Deep Hollow. You're not a student? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am, uh, definitely a student. Oh, jeez. That sucks. Jeez, man, what the heck? We should just go here. God. Can I not talk to the fellows? I guess not. That sucks. I just kind of tricked up the party, eh? Um, what did you do? What do you mean? How did you mess that up? <laughs> if something happens to her, I will personally punch her teeth out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh boy. Alrighty then. Seems like I was told B. It's good to know I was right. Oh jeez. I'm just I'm just saying I'm speaking the truth, pal. You can't fault me for that. Ah oh, god. Anyways, I think I'm gonna have to find B on the next episode. For now, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will air all of your dirty laundry at every party you attend. <laughs>
F1 fan. Uh, goodbye. Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.